Depending on the model of vehicle you own, there will be a series of relays, fuse, and a radio antenna located behind the instrument panel on your dash. To remove your instrument panel, first be sure to disconnect the main positive battery terminal. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws located at each corner. Oh. Placing your hands inside the dash compartment, you will be able to access and remove a bundle of wires which have relays and fuses attached. Your relays are as follows. The PR120 relay, which controls the anti-rollaway feature. The PR0011, which controls your brake lights. And the SGD153 relay, which controls the blinkers. Inside this fuse holder, you will find the 20 amp automotive fuse, which in combination works with the PR120 relay to power your anti roll away feature. If your car is equipped with a radio, located further back in the dash compartment, you will find the radio antenna. To improve your reception, simply remove the black sheathing and telescope the antenna. Some customers have chosen to externally mount the antenna to the body of their car. Demonstrated in the following sequences are techniques to realign your steering wheel and adjust your combo switch to remedy random or constant horn blowing. To remove your steering wheel, remove the scorecard holder. To expose the steering shaft and locking nut. Using a wrench, loosen the locking nut and back it off three quarters of the way. Demonstrated here, you will see the maneuver required to free your steering wheel. Please note a good amount of force is required. If you are experiencing issues with your horn randomly or continuously blowing, remove the back cover from the combo switch to expose the inner workings. Located on the left side by the lever is a small metallic strap which makes connection when the lever is moved. Using a blunt object and some force, gently tap the metal strap until it is in a neutral position and the horn stops blowing. 